Now I'm getting a warning about the meeting being recorded. What's that? I'm getting a pop-up saying that the meeting is being recorded in addition to the voice. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe it's because I already started it before you... Yeah, I should have I should have worn my base, uh, my Blue Jays cap. Oh. How quickly yeah, you turn. officially over. <laughs> How quickly you turn. Where's that support? I'm dying support for the team that can never... Oh, my God, what a disaster. Brutal. What a disaster. I told you you should have stopped watching after uh, period two. I know, you know. It was uh Actually, it was rough, I did. It was a rough one. Oh, I watched right to the last buzzer, but uh I don't know. The way I I I, I mean Leaf fans have been telling themselves this for 17 years, so it's uh there's always next season, but I just think of how long it took uh uh, for Ovi to uh, Ovechkin to win the cup. How long? He was uh, 32 years old, I think. Uh, I, sorry, I have no frame of reference. Is that, so that's a lot? Well, well, like Matthews, for example, is probably 24, 25. So he'd been in, Ovi had been in the league. Like they had good teams for many, many years. Yep. So, you know, I mean, it's one of those things. There's whatever, 30 teams in a league and only one can win the cup every year. So, but I mean, the team had uh, like their power play had sucked for the last part of the season. They lost a number of games at the end of the season that they should have won. So they, they were just not clicking. Oh, well, there's always next season. Yeah, for everyone's watching, this is what happens every year. Yeah, right. um, they get kicked out, and then all of the fans try to lift themselves up and the team up and provide excuses for why that yeah. was the thing that makes it worse this season is that we lost to Montreal. <laughs> is that a big deal? Well, Montreal and Toronto are just historically huge rivals, although they haven't played in the playoffs since 1979. Wow. So... What about Ottawa? And, and the reason it's significant for me is because my brother-in-law is a big Habs fan. So the fact that he's been rubbing it in my face for my whole, well, the whole time we've been friends that Montreal is a better team than Toronto. And this was going to be my chance to rub it back. <laughs> Not so much. Well, that didn't quite work out the way you wanted it, did no, it? No, it didn't. It did not at all. Oh, well. <sighs> I still get the last laugh because I married his sister. So, <laughs> I I hope your wife is not watching this because <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Uh, anyway, I've had I got some big news. And uh, Jamie came back. He did indeed. What did he say? Uh, so I I messaged him this morning. And said, because uh, he was on holiday last week. Yeah. So I didn't want to bother him yesterday, like on the first back, day back on holiday. Yeah. So he, uh, I just sent him a message saying, uh, hope you had a great holiday. Just touching base to see if your team had any feedback on the app, blah, blah, blah. And he sent me a, a picture of their feedback. Um, so I, I guess they didn't actually use the app. They just had the link to the web page that I created that had a video about how it worked. So they reviewed it. Uh, general comments was it looks great. It's a good idea. Um, looks like you put so much work into this, et cetera, et cetera. Some questions about the um, how it integrates in with the course and will it supplement the course or will it take away from the course? Like, will people try to use the app, like these little snippets instead of the actual content, mm -hmm. which is easy because we, we can... Uh, um, remedy that by doing drip content so you could conceivably only release content after each module is released so that you would never have you'd only have it Preview, as, yeah. as a support or you can have access depending on the courses that people took yeah anyway so he basically said uh, it's good enough to justify a test 
Um, but he said, I, I want to raise one small managing expectations flag to take the app from beta test to live product requires a bunch of thought, potential work around branding, keeping things fresh and up to date, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Happy to do the beta test right away. I think it'll be very cool. And I've got a team here that are already up to their eyeballs with other stuff. So things may not proceed quickly once we're done the beta test as we would like. Are you okay with that? Basically. Did you share, did you share the picture of the Trello board that you're working with? I say, <laughs> no. What? So I said, yeah, I said, yeah, wow, that's great. Thanks for managing my expectations. I totally understand the situation and I'm happy to do the heavy lifting on this and to be patient with the process. Do you have an idea for the best way to communicate with the group Facebook post to the thriving coaches blueprint or mentioned it on Wednesday's call. So he said, why don't you do a draft Facebook post to me to put into the group? And then I'll include a call to action at the end of, uh, end of it. And we can uh, mention it on tomorrow's call as well. So, uh, so I sent him the post that I had prepared and I adjusted the dates on the web page and everything, which I think this bodes well too for making a good impression like I, that I've already got everything ready to go. And then he sent it back. He said, pro tip, great pro tip. If you include a URL on a Facebook post, the Facebook algorithm instantly deprioritizes it so very few people see the post. So huh. I said, good to know what's the secret for getting people to the page. And then he sent me a picture of the post that he's going to do. So it's going to say, uh, question with just uh, just as Q colon want to try out a new app to help you get clients. Our very own Greg Fisher has created a beta test version of an app based on the materials in the Thriving Coaches Blueprint. Its purpose to keep everything you've learned top of mind, help you get clients and grow your practice. Its working title is the Little App of Clarity, and it is easily digestible, bite-sized clips of content you'd be familiar with. It's designed so you can quickly find what you need, get some inspiration, and refresh your knowledge on the spot when you need it the most. The beta test will be free and we'll be running it for two weeks, starting June 7th and then getting your feedback question. Would you like to be part of the beta test team? Let us know in the comments below and we'll circle back with access details shortly. He wrote that? Well, he, he, I wrote half of it. And he massaged it. And he, 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 he set it up this way, like 80% of this writing is what I'd written, but he just framed it this way. And then, so basically there's no link here. He, his secret is, to post it as a question. And he, so um, I responded to that saying, uh, oh, it, so he did the, the that image and he says, notice my use of cheese, it's quite a smiley face. Um, so I said, yeah, expertly done. There was a one typo, but other, otherwise it's perfect. So um, yeah, he's gonna be posting that today and we're, uh, we're off, to, we're the off race. to the races. So yeah, so that's excellent news. That is, I mean, I don't know what it's going to mean in terms of uh, timing and expectations, but hopefully the, the, I mean, the best case scenario is the test comes back and everyone loves it and says they'd be willing to pay for it. Um, because that, that would obviously make it more of a, a thing to, to pursue on his end. Of course. So how are you going to manage the, the, uh, the beta? Um, well, I've got, so I've got a web page where they, they'll get a URL to go to that page to sign up with their email. Yep. Then they'll get an automatic email that says, thank you. You're on the team. Then on June 6th, they'll get an email with the, uh, the app URL and the instructions of how to download it onto their phone. Mm -hmm. Um, and then probably over the course of the two weeks, I'll, I'll set up some kind of a sequence or communication with them that, that gives them like tips and you know, here's how you use it. Here's different use cases. Yep. And then once the two weeks is done, I'll set up interviews with each of the people to basically ask similar questions of what we've set up for our test. Yep. Um, and then recap that back to Jamie, Jamie and uh, figure out next steps from there. Yeah, one one reco is uh, just to make sure whoever signs up for the beta test, make sure that they respond to your emails. Yes. Just 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 put it out there. Like, look, I'm going to send you a test email. You should receive it in the next half hour. Please respond to this email with I don't know something. Yeah. What is the weather like in where you are? Because that that will make sure that everything else that you're going to be sending them will be delivered. Because yeah, it doesn't go to their ball. Uh, that's, my, that's my biggest problem. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, I mean, I I have. Most of the people in the group I'm also friends with now on Facebook, so I can. Oh, that's 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 
Beautiful. I can uh, make sure they get the communication. That's beautiful. But yeah, that's a good way to start. Uh, well, and I got up at like 520. So I, I launched new Google ads already this morning for my leadership for teens course and my inner simulator course. Um, I've had the late at the end of the day yesterday, I sent out probably 20 direct messages on LinkedIn to various people on my network about my Facebook group that I'm starting tomorrow. Yep. I've, had, I've had two people sign up already from that. Um, so yeah, good. Uh, well, your eyeballs and projects. Good times. This will convert. This yeah. will convert. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, and the, no, the, the thing so. when I was setting up the Google so. ads this morning, I don't know what the hell I was doing last time on Google ads, but it, it, and I don't know if they've changed our process, but it was a much different experience I had this time that was much more like the Facebook experience, like adding um, the copy and the graphics and things. So. Oh yeah, because the first time, the first time you go to go, do Google ads, it gives you a simplified interface. Yeah. Kind of like, oh, just build an app. Oh, select this and select that. And then when you go back, it's the full interface of Google Ads. Yeah. With the campaign, the ad sets, and the ads. Yeah. So we'll see if this does anything more than I did. I got last time. You need help? Do I need any help with what the Google Ads? No. No, I mean with anything. Yeah. Well, I, I'm thinking uh, with this Clarity app thing. Yeah. That. Uh, may be looking to bring you into the fold on that as well and if you're uh up to it yeah as long as i don't have to talk to anyone yeah no what again oh here we go so we'll uh um because i mean the the there's no question the val the value of having another set of eyes and another brain involved is like exponentially valuable concur concur so. even with some of the stuff that's going on right now so anyway that's uh that's that's fantastic news that's, that's big like, news. just like as as long as it doesn't stall after the beta test because well i mean the thing is mm, well i'm not really worried about it stalling because he he runs several programs and he's got like a, a regular cadence mm -hmm. um, over the course of the year. So I'm, I'm not sure if he does the thriving coaches blueprint like twice a year, the clarity program is once a year because it's like a six month program and he's got other stuff. So, you know, there, there's always a new batch of people coming yeah. in somewhere in his business. So um and no, I think, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking is just to how to position because there's always going to be. Um, there's obviously going to be some hesit not hesitancy, but it's kind of like when you slap your name on it. I mean, it's it's your name on it. But he doesn't. There's everything he said about his team being busy. Yeah, does not preclude this from becoming a live app. Just just based on what you and I have done thus far in oh, the yeah. last three weeks. Yeah. So um, it's just, just I'm, I don't know how, but uh, to convey the fact that, look, you can have a working beta, not a test beta, but a working beta for your team to review with full, full on uh, corporate, um, corporate level security. Because his app, the, yeah. way, the, way, the way you've designed it is so much simpler than what we're doing right now. Yes. It's... It's well, right now it's very simple. Like the, it may get more complex if there's like content dripping and that's uh, fine, but it's all consumption. There's no, there's no kind of feedback. Yeah. There's no, yeah. Yeah. The only thing you would need to add is you would need to add notes that people can add. This is a user, um, user specific field. That's yeah. Okay. That's oh, damn. I, I, it's just, Oh, and I had my first yesterday. I had my first legitimate sign up for my interview simulator five day challenge where they did the two step process. What what is 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 it, is this because the Leafs lost? It's kind of like know. the universe tilted. That's well, right. This, it's this like to give, so this it's like to... we took the Leafs away from you, but we're going to make your business work. <laughs> it's like fair deal. I'll take it. 
right on right on right on so, so i just gotta i gotta massage make sure like they're scheduled to get their next email today at 3 29 mm-hmm. so i gotta make i, I want to monitor that to make sure the email goes out and then monitor to see if it gets opened of course um, and so on okay but yeah i feel and then the other th- I, the other thing i did the other day so on linkedin you know when it gives you your network recommendations or just like people you might know yep so I noticed there's a bunch of people in my list that have the open to work icon on their mm-hmm. name. So one, there was one person, I don't know him, no idea who he is. I, I basically um, was trying to see if I could send him a message mm-hmm. and you, you can, because it's like under the premise that because he's open to work, you can send him a message about a job opportunity. But I, what I sent him was the interview simulator information and a connection request. Well, he accepted the, the connection. And then there was another lady on that list who I didn't reach out to, but I, I was looking at her. I don't, I don't think I looked at her profile, but then yesterday I got a notification that she had viewed my profile. Yep. And then, so last night I sent her a connection request and today she accepted it. So now I'm gonna message her with the interview simulator. So I, I'm gonna just chip away, I think, at finding people that are open to work. Clearly they're the target audience for the, the interview simulator. They're looking for a job. They're gonna be interviewing. Um, it's not like a, an efficient way of doing it. How much, how much are you charging for the interview simulator? $20, $19.99. Yeah. It's, I was just, I was going to say that people, people like myself, like feel vulnerable when they're out of the job. So they might be stingy with the money, but $20 is, yeah. $20 Twenty dollars is a is a solid investment, even if it even if the course proves out to be garbage, which yeah. it's not. Well, there's a five day challenge, so it, it, for free, so you can get ten questions. And if you if the the premise of it is listen to these questions, practice your answers. At the end of five days, like have your interview skills improved? Invariably, the answer is going to be yes. So it's like, well, so why wouldn't you want to spend spend twenty bucks on the next seventy seven questions? Anyway, fair point. That's the theory. <laughs> so things are uh, shaping up. It's a good morning, and I have. Uh, uh, I had two co- peer coaching calls today. I canceled one of them because it's like the third or fourth time with the same guy, mm-hmm. and uh, I just figured I'm going to be. I'm way too busy to be doing that, so I canceled that one. So I, I, I'm free till three o'clock, and then. Uh, we got some app follow-up stuff. So do you have anything to, to add to this episode or do you want to just, uh, my day was, and... my day was pretty much all taken by tech stuff yesterday, which we're going to discuss in the next segment. All right, cool. All right. We'll see you in the next segment.